for joining us there. And joining me now is DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurmond. Uh, Michael, I believe Blaine um, didn't name check you there, but she checked uh, something that you said, which is that the buck stops at the top with the Secretary of State's office. I, I want to get to what's going to happen in November, but first, the Secretary of State's office is, is blaming local officials for not knowing how to use the machines. What is your response to that? It's ridiculous. Uh, first of all, the Secretary of State purchased the machines. They employed what we all are very familiar with, which is train the trainer. So the counties can't train themselves until they are first trained by the Secretary of State's office. So there is blame to go around. It's a seamless system. It includes all 159 counties. But the ultimate administration is with uh, the Secretary of State. Why did it imp impact majority-minority communities more than white communities? Well, as Blaine, as Blaine pointed out, uh, it was the perfect storm, the impact of COVID-19. We know that African Americans are disproportionately impacted by this deadly disease. We also know that senior citizens have a high rate of infection as well as uh, uh, fatalities among senior citizens. So many of our African American senior center poll workers decided, rightfully so, not to work. We had newer poll workers, less experienced, and consequently less trained, and we had an electronic system that did not work properly. Our election officials here in DeKalb County raised concerns before the election that these new machines were not working properly, there were glitches, and quite frankly, they were not taken care of before election day. How do you make sure that you're not going to see problems like this in November? Well, first of all, the Secretary of State has to work with county officials to address these problems. You can't predetermine where the issues are until you do the analysis. Our Speaker of the House has said we're going to have a top-down investigation that includes the Secretary of State's office. And by doing that, we can identify the problems. More importantly, we can develop solutions. You can't resolve these issues solely at the county or the state, and we have to restore trust. There's a great deal of distrust and mistrust with the election administration in Georgia. That has to be rebuilt, and every citizen has to feel comfortable that regardless of their race or their where they live, that they will have fair access to the polling places. Has the Secretary of State um, said that he will work with local officials to make sure this is not a problem in November? Not yet, but I'm reaching out to the Secretary of State this afternoon. And quite frankly, this is not about black and white. This is about all Americans having access to the polls. And one other thing that, I, that really frustrated me, we need to celebrate the poll workers who were there yesterday, who literally put their lives on the line. We've overlooked the fact that poll workers became frontline workers on election day. So we should celebrate them and thank them and not point fingers at them for doing a job that few people would want or would execute in this environment. DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman. Michael, let's hope we don't see this in November again. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much. And coming up next, Jacob Soboroff is here with an NBC exclusive about migrants.